We can't just decide in five minutes. I mean, suppose we're wrong. Suppose we're wrong. Suppose the whole building fell into my head. You could suppose anything. That's right. What's the difference is kind of like how long it takes. We honestly think the guy is guilty. So suppose we finish in five minutes. So what? Let's take an hour. I mean, the ball game doesn't start until 8 o'clock. Okay, Slugger, be my guest. I haven't got anything brilliant. I only know as much as you guys do. Now, according to the testimony, the boy looks guilty. Maybe he is, but I sat in court for three days watching the evidence pile up. Everybody sounded so positive that I started to get a peculiar feeling about this case. I mean, nothing is that positive. I had questions I would have liked to ask. Would they have advanced anything? I don't know. Maybe. But I started to get the feeling that the defense counsel wasn't doing his job. He let too many things go. Little things. What little things? Listen, when these guys don't ask questions, that's because they know the answers already and they figure they'll be hurt. Maybe. It's also possible for a defense counsel to just be plain stupid, isn't it? You sound like you met my brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> I, kept, I kept putting myself in this boy's shoes. I would have asked for another lawyer, I think. I mean, if I was on trial for my life, I would want my lawyer to tear the prosecution to shreds. At least try it. God. Look, there was one, one alleged eyewitness to this entire case. Someone else claims that they heard the killing and saw the boy running out afterwards. But if you think about it, there was a lot of circumstantial evidence. These two witnesses were the entire case for the prosecution. Supposing they were wrong? What do you mean supposing they were wrong? What's the point of having witnesses at all? Could they be wrong? They said they stand on their oath. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that only people, people make mistakes. Could they be wrong? Now, you're not going to tell us that we're supposed to believe that kid, knowing what he is? Listen, I've lived among them all my life. You can't believe the word is. You know that. They're born liars. It suddenly occurs to me that you must be ignoring this man. What do you mean? What is he talking about? Do you think I'm an monopoly on the truth? <laughs> what are you making a federal case out of that? Well, How do you like this guy? I think certain things should be pointed out to this man. Alright, gentlemen, it's not Sunday. We don't need a ceremony here. Monopoly for Christ's sakes. I don't see any need for arguing like this. I think we ought to be able to behave like gentlemen. If we're going to discuss this case, let's stick to the facts. I think that's a good point. We have a job to do. Let's do it. Do you think the gentleman down there is agreeing with us? Could you tell us why, you know? Tell us what he thinks, we need to talk, we need to show him why it's probably mixed up. Well, if you want me to tell you how I feel about you right now. Thank <laughs> you. 